I want to welcome you to this update for the First Presbyterian Church, everybody's church, for Thursday, June 16th, 2022. Uh, I'm out here uh, in the parking lot by the tent because over the next couple of weeks there's going to be lots of things <laughs> happening out here. Uh, Sunday school for children is, is outdoors these days. Uh, sometimes it's here, sometimes it's in the columbarium. Then on the 24th, Friday, from 6 to 8 p.m., out here in the parking lot, we will be having a fun night. We will have pony rides and a train and a petting zoo. And so we encourage you to come out and uh, invite your neighbors to come and enjoy it. Then, two days later, on the 26th, two very important things, two fun things. The first is that we will be celebrating Cindy Merton's 23 years with us as she moves into retirement. Uh, we'll have a reception out here for her, like we did for Jan Peters. And if you'd like to send a gift to the church uh, to thank her for all she has done for us, uh, we, you can just send that on uh, to the church uh, and just note that it's for Cindy Merton. Then that afternoon, we're having an ice cream social. Uh, so more ice cream. So we encourage you to come out, and that is from 3 to 4.30. Again, it'll be either here or over under the trees. Um, lots of opportunities to volunteer this summer, and not just this summer, but, but on a regular basis here at Everybody's Church. We're continuing to look for ushers. A lot of our ushers have moved away. Um, we're looking for coffee hour help. You don't have to be a deacon. There's a sign up for both ushers and coffee hour on the website. Looking for AIM Buddies, All Abilities Inclusion Ministry. Uh, it's one of our great ministries here at the church. And we're always looking for people who volunteer one Sunday, two Sundays. Um, just uh, right now, let Cindy Merton know. And, and uh, after Cindy Merton, you can talk to me. Now, the teachable moment. Uh, I'll just start with the pastor nominating committee. They are hard at work. Our representative to Presbytery, the next judicatory up, uh, said she was surprised that they wanted to get started so quickly. Uh, they're well organized. They have a chair and a vice chair. They're splitting up the duties. Uh, so they have things underway. But that brings me to a teachable moment. And that is that uh, power in the Presbyterian church is shared power. The congregation has some powers. The session has some powers. The Presbytery, which is the collection of local congregations, has power. And the General Assembly, the national body to which uh, Reverend Bethany is a representative this year, has other powers. Now, the powers of the congregation, and this has to do with the Pastor Nominating Committee, uh, the powers of the congregation are you get to elect your elders. Uh, you get to elect those who serve in leadership here at the church al along with deacons. You get to elect your pastors. Whoever uh, follows me, succeeds me, um, you will vote on bringing them into the life of the church. Uh, the pastor nominating committee, which is your committee, uh, does not dictate who this person is. They nominate someone and then you all get to vote on them. Uh, the congregation then uh, is, are the only people who can indebt the church. In other words, even the elders cannot take on a big loan against the church property to do something without your permission. And finally, there are sort of other assorted powers uh, that come with being the congregation, changing certain bylaws, the number of elders, number of deacons. And so that's your teachable moment for this morning that in the Presbyterian Church USA, all powers are shared powers. Here is uh, my phone number, 210-508-0184, 210 uh, If you need anything, give me a call. And one last thing, and that is all these fun things that are coming up next week are just the beginning of fun things here this summer. We are going to have movie nights. We're going to have a night out at Jimmy John's Ballpark. Uh, we're just going to have a lot of fun fabulous and wonderful events for people of all ages and all abilities. So stay tuned and I hope you get out and enjoy some of this absolutely fabulous day. May God's blessings be with you now and always. Bye.